accidentally had the stream muted. I've not streamed my desktop in a very long time, so desktop audio was just muted. Now, I don't really know too much about this showcase. I think he did it last year, maybe? So I could just be thinking of the Game Awards? I don't really remember. Allegedly, Elden Ring might show up here. Which I don't really have. It's a Souls game, which isn't my kind of game. Though, I do want to try to beat a Souls game this year, and it's probably going to be Sekiro. We had no clue what to actually expect from this. No clue how long it is. All I know is that it's game announcements hosted by Jeff Keighley. I think he posted somewhere he has like 30 game announcements or something like that. This is ni like a nice pre-E3 kind of thing. I do remember one of the big things from his last event was the new Fall Guys map. Which, if that was... Or no, it was a new Among Us map. Which Among Us was cool at the time. It's still pretty cool. People still play it. That was like the big thing. <laughs> so I'm curious what the big thing is going to be this time around. He did tweet earlier today, keep in mind that it's been very challenging for developers to build games from, uh, games work from home. So he's kind of like, you know, holds your excitement a little bit. He continues to say, but I will say we have some exciting things to show you. So... I think he's sort of like trying to temper expectations, maybe. I'm 
I'm pretty sure he did say how many he had and it was like 30 or something. I don't know if it's like 30 new games or it's just 30 different announcements. Like I said, it's a nice like warm up to E3. Apparently they have more Among Us stuff, too. Yeah, okay. Summer Game Fest kicks off with a spectacular live event with 30-plus games, special guests, musical performances, Day of the Devs, and more. So... We'll see. Apparently going to be info on a new Evil Dead game. So Evil Dead and Elden Ring and Among Us. Hell yeah. Let's get fucked up. I told you we'd start right on time. That looks like an Intel CPU box. Welcome to Summer Game Fest Kickoff Live, presented by Prime Gaming. I'm Jeff Keeley, and buckle up because we've got a big show for you filled with new game announcements, world premieres, updates on the games you play every day some surprises, and special guests, including Jeff Goldblum, Giancarlo Esposito, and performances by Weezer, Japanese Breakfast, and the Sonic the Hedgehog Symphony Orchestra. Yes, that's really a thing. Why Jeff now, Goldblum? Like a great video game, there may be some twists along the way today, and just wait until you see what we have planned for the end game. That is all I'm allowed to tell you right now. This is just the start of a Xbox game Series XX. Including live streamed events from publishers like Xbox and Bethesda, Square Enix, Ubisoft, and more. You can head right now to summergamefest.com to track all the events, and believe me, there is a lot of great stuff coming your way. But today, we kick things off with a big 90 minute cross industry showcase meant to put platforms and rivalries aside. We will have updates and news for you no matter if you play on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. The biggest games in the world will be here, and some of the smallest ones too, made by emerging voices and developers from around the world who represent what's next. Thank you so much for tuning in and kicking off Video Game Summer. Well, let's begin with a brand new game announcement. You're about to see the world premiere of the next great adventure from Gearbox and 2K. Oh shit, hell yeah. So this is allegedly a Tiny Tina thing. It looks cell shaded. It, the ocean floor. it could be another Dungeons and Dragons thing. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. Okay. Ow. 
Ashley Birch. Yep. Alright. Alright, I'm pretty excited about that. That's a good start. Early 2022. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is official, and joining us now is Tiny Tina herself, Ashley Birch. Hey, Ash, how you doing? Oh, hell yeah. Hi. I love Ashley. Great to have you here. Uh, so, I think the big question everyone's going to have is, what is Wonderlands? What can you tell us about it? It's a great question. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a high fantasy take on a looter shooter, as you saw. And um, if you're a fan of Borderlands, you'll probably recognize some fantasy elements inspired also those, by Assault on Dragon Keep, which was the Borderlands 2 DLC that was the cast by the devs. And so was this pretty crazy. kind of inspired Wonderlands. Uh, now, I think the, the elephant in the room is, is this a Borderlands game? Is it not? How does it relate? So it actually isn't. It's its own standalone game. Um, and people that love Borderlands... Yeah, I wasn't really expecting, like, Borderlands 4. ...about Wonderlands, but it's its own thing. Yeah. Tiny Tina's got her own thing going on yeah. now. Um, so it's got its own mechanics. There's spell casting. You can customize your character this time, which is super mm. exciting. And, um, yeah, so if you love Borderlands, you're going to find stuff to love in this. And if you've never played a Borderlands game, this is a great place to start. Okay, well, Tiny Tina gets her own game, which is fantastic. Yes. What is her, her role? Why does she get her own game? So she is your bunker master. Yeah. Um, she is kind of guiding the narrative and changing it on a dime if she wants. Um, and she's just taking your cast of characters, uh, which is an amazing cast, yeah. um, through this wacky world. Uh, and she's taking you on an adventure to defeat Shut the, the fuck up. Lord. Don't you have work or something? You'll have to pray. I, and I wonder who plays the dragon lord because you've got quite the voice cast, including <laughs> you in this, which oh. is awesome. So yeah. feels Thank like you. such a, a big experience. Um, so this was a bit of a tease, announcing it's out there. Um, when will we find out more about this game? Um, hopefully this summer. Yeah. Um, and you can find out a lot more at playwonderlands.com if you'd like. Okay. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for updates. Gotcha. Right, early yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for this. Ash, thank you so much for joining us in person. Thanks for I having really me. Really appreciate it. Unless and, uh, we'll see more gameplay later. comes out and it's like right, a well, uh, real-time strategy game. Another brand new game I might, I might get a this day one. one. You probably are not expecting a classic '90s franchise is coming back to life as a grid-based tactical strategy title for Steam on PC. Don't this care is an about insanely that. Insanely fun trailer. I hope you'll enjoy it. I've never been a fan of these kinds of games. Marco. Polo. I like the art style. At least for the cutscenes. Jeremy Dooley and Futaba. Yeah, not my kind of game, but I can appreciate it. Okay, we have another big announcement for you from a surprise guest. Damn, this is a lot of big well announcements. 3 a.m. their time, 
So don't worry, we chatted earlier, and I'm very Japan. excited to share this with you right now. Hello, mystery guest. Yeah, Hello. okay. I <laughs> kind of figured Mr. it was Kajima, today. It is so good to see you. Thank you for joining us uh, from Tokyo. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are things right now uh, over there in Japan? Looks like there was a battering behind Jeff. Well, we certainly hope that you're going to get your vaccine soon. Um, let me ask you, as a creator, how has this past year impacted you? ま、今まで play Death Stranding. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. ちょっとかなりものの考え方が変わったというか、いろいろ考えました。あの、この先をどう作るかっていうのはいろいろ考えましたね。あの、他のクリエイターも多分大きく考えていると思います。あの、911の時と同じような感じだと思いますね。これからエンタメをどういうふうに切り取っていくかっていうのはやっぱり大きな課
Oh my god, it is Metal Gear. So is this like a DLC? really confused as to <laughs> what this is going to turn out to be. Okay. Damn, dude. There you have it. Death Stranding Director's Cut finally confirmed. I hope I make it into the Director's Cut. <laughs> I'm told the full reveal is just weeks away. Stay tuned. All right, next. It's my honor to welcome... I really thought that was going to be a Metal Gear Solid like crossover, but that would have been kind of tricky because I don't think Kojima even like owns Metal Gear Ops anymore. 3. I think it's Konami's We're thing now. have him here at Summer Game Fest. Jeff Goldblum, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much, J Joffrey or J Geoff or uh, sorry, uh, I think it's J I think it's Jeffrey. Hey, maybe it's Jeff. Hi, hi, Jeff. Why is Jeff uh, Goldblum thank here? Thank you so much, sincerely, for having me here. I'm thrilled to be here. Hey, I was watching your show, um, and I was wondering uh, if there might be some video game world premieres, as you say. Uh, and sure enough, yeah. Uh, 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 there, there is. There is. Yes, we do like our world premieres around here. Any chance you uh, brought one with you today? Well, it's funny you should say that. Yes, you could say uh, yes. I do. Uh, if you don't mind, I've uh, got definitely pre-recorded. Read it on this. There's a little bit of a teleprompter that they're putting up here, so I'm going to read something because I don't want to get it wrong. I want to. I'm very meticulous about this. So here's a dramatic reading of this game announcement. Ready? I'm going to make the game announcement right now. Hello. I'm here to welcome you to a very different world. It's going to elevate you to new heights. Jurassic going Park. to submerge you to new depths. Maybe even challenge you to control chaos. Actually, it's going to certainly challenge you to control chaos. It's a world... Um, so-called evolved. Okay, so it's definitely Jurassic Park. Take a look at the evolution. You guessed it. World premiere. Okay. We ignored all the warnings. We forgot the lessons. We abused our power. So this is we played with Jurassic Park, but like, like uh, a zoo builder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is Jurassic Park Evolution now, 2. Uh, That's what the game was called? Or it was like a zoo builder? This is a very different world. Yeah, okay. Um, that was a really bad zoo design. Why would they put the big animal with the little one? That's gonna get like one star.
I don't like zoo builders or new album, Jubilee is out now city sim type games, sim city type games. New York Times bestseller. Uh, I kind of like to watch them though. The upcoming open world game Sable by Raw Fury and Shedworks. It's Japanese breakfast. Am I gonna get DMCA'd for this? I'm absolutely going to get, like, a copyright claim for this now. It's a good thing I don't make money off of these anyway. the art style Breath of the Wild 2 It looks like King's Canyon from Apex. There are a lot of indie games like this that I still need to play. Like the Pathless. It's been out for a while and I just completely forgot about it. So beautiful. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Sable will be released on September 23rd this year. That's some news for you. And to learn more about this amazing game, watch the Tribeca Game Showcase. That is tomorrow, where Sable was named an official selection of the Legendary Festival. Now, today is just the start of Summer Game Fest. Day of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine will immediately follow the live show today. And there are more events coming Double all fine. weekend and all month including the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase on Sunday. It's going to be a good one. Right now, though, we're thrilled to announce the upcoming Western release of a spectacular 3D massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Welcome There's to the a lot of, words. of Lost Ark from Smilegate RPG and Amazon Games. Oh, Amazon, let's go. They haven't made a bad game yet. They haven't made a game yet. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. They have started games and then have canceled them. I think they're the first the first dev company to release a game and then take it back. like Bloodborne.
You know what goes great with fantasy RPGs? Rap music. Oh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey 2. a mix of a bunch of different games like gameplay wise it looked like um diablo almost but then they had like bloodborne looking aesthetic as well as Sometimes final fantasy a game there's that one thing in your inventory which turned out to be far more useful than you first realized that's kind of like prime gaming if you're an amazon prime member and most of you probably are you get a ton of gaming goodies every month this month, you can download Battlefield 4 and Batman the Telltale series completely free for PC, and there are special in-game benefits Ooh. and perks in GTA Online, Valorant, Apex Legends, and more that you can unlock. It's I think awesome I already have value, Battlefield 4, honestly, so never mind. This kickoff show would not have been possible without the Prime Gaming folks believing in my vision for a new way to bring you the news this summer. So head over to gaming.amazon.com to check out all the perks and free games, which change every month, but you get to keep them forever oh ad time batman the telltale series was actually pretty good ran like absolute garbage on base xbox but Pretty good. Okay, right now I'm honored to be joined by Johanna, oh, Harris, the new GM of Call, Call of, of Duty. Duty. Johanna, it's so great to have you with us here on Kickoff Live. Everyone is so excited about what Call of Duty's been doing with all these seasons, and I know uh, looks like next week, June 17th, season four. Yes, we're super excited. We're super honored to be here. So thank you, first and foremost, for that. It's just such an amazing time for Call of Duty. We're experiencing such transformational growth and dynamism across the entire brand, you know, from premium title releases to everything we'll talk about today, yeah. with, with Warzone, with mobile, with esports. So it's just super incredible, all the work. And shout out to everybody in the Call of Duty family who makes it happen every day. Yeah, no, you've been, I mean, I know season three, it was like, you know, Rambo, Die Hard <laughs> now. I, who knows what's in store for season four, but you guys, you know, continually update the game now with new stuff. Uh, season four is coming next week. What can you, uh, this is first info on it, so what can you tell the fans watching around the world? Yeah, we're stoked. It's jam-packed with new content across Cold War and Warzone. You know, you've got new weapons, we've got new maps, we've got badass new operators. Warzone's um, super fun. excited about the hijacked Gulag, we've got expanded zombies content for everybody. I liked Warzone when you know, the I game played it. Experience. So we're thrilled and I'm excited to, to bring it forward a little bit here today. I know, we've got uh, the first look world premiere trailer of uh, season four, so uh, let's take a look at that now. Do what you are told. Oh my God, that is a sweaty man. Secure the site. Just turned hot. We've located the satellite. Yeah, like just the just Warzone Battle Royale, it's like a hundred gigs. The fuck was that? Oh, zombies, right. I don't think I've ever played oh God, zombies. So fun. And one week away. One week away. All right, well, uh, let's move on to uh, 
you first joined Activision to run uh, Call of Duty Esports, and we're going to talk a little bit now about uh, what is the World Series of uh, yeah. Warzone, which is going to start on it's just, it's a lot. 22nd. Uh, I have the Series S, World Series and it has yeah, very, very limited it. really space. So it's like I'd be able to download it you know, we've got and maybe like one or two other games. League, and now we've got some of the biggest names in gaming battling it out in Verdansk for what will be the biggest prize pool in Warzone um, since six dollars right so um we'll talk a little bit about what that entails but custom lobby experiences 150 player to a side squad so i'm stoked to see how they uh kind of rally here in verdansk yes uh, and coming up uh, very soon june 22nd uh looks like looks like twitch rivals damn dude that partners. 50 cents yeah, we are honored to be in partnership with twitch o always right but certainly it was actually seven dollars but they had to take away the 50 cents for tax rivals, who's already done so much um to really put competitive war zone on display so it couldn't be in better part they get there, you and uh, we're excited to have everybody tune in yes uh there is one thing though that everyone has been talking about online and that's uh who the captains are going to be uh for the structure of uh of the world's resort at least for the first event. i mean that's what i've been wondering who, who are with, the uh, captains get a little bit reveal here of, of who some of the captains are right? yeah we love the first five captains of the first of many events to come uh, like I said, these are huge influencers and personalities in Call of Duty. And they He's the only one I know. Competitive Call of Duty, right? They really believe in the promise of World Series of Warzone and to really level up what it means to really battle it out. So uh, couldn't be happier with some of these names. Many of Tim is the only one I know, only because of um, when he was I'm playing Fall Guys, he was just all over Twitter. I was going to say, they're all be battling out uh, in just a couple of weeks on Twitch Rivals. Well, it's really exciting uh, to see how much uh, you know, Call of Duty is growing into this kind of year-round experience for everyone with so much more content. So we can't wait to see where you're going to take it. And I know uh, there is a big new mainline game coming later this year too, right? Indeed, indeed. More details to share yeah. later on, but uh, Sledgehammer Games is you know, going to bring forward something truly. Really giving a lot of time to this. All right, we tried, guys. <laughs> there will come a time and a place for that. All right, Johanna, thank you so much for joining us. We thank really you. appreciate it. All right, we've got lots of Summer Game Fest kickoff to go, but right now we've got a surprise guest joining us, my fellow Canadian, Ryan Reynolds. Hey, Ryan. Well, thank you, Jeff, and hello, Summer Game Fest. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, and no, I'm, I'm not here to announce I'm the star of Elden Ring, I think. Instead, no, I'm making, a, I'm telling you to talk about At least he's hip. movies. He's with Remember it. those things? Of course you don't. Look, um, I have a new movie coming out August 13th called Free Guy, um, and in this movie I play an NPC character uh, in a popular oh, like world video game. Uh, until I break movie free, interests me. and I realize that it kind of sucks to be a you know lonely background character on an endless walk cycle. <laughs> so now here's one of those world premieres. It's a first ever look at our cast on the big screen this August, and honestly, it's been so long I can't even remember who's even in this movie. I didn't say that. I'll cut that out. Yeah, I'll do it right now. My name is Guy. I thought I had everything I needed. And mobile getting into the gaming Monday, market. Am I right, Joe? You said it, Guy. But then I met her. Put these on. Oh my God! What are these trick glasses or something? Guy, there is no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. You're not real. Please stop my. <laughs> And the guy responsible for this world is going to destroy it. Is that Taika? Are we talking about God? You've met God? Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. We can save our world, but we have to fight together. I don't even know what's happening right now, but I love it! Oh, that actually hurt my hand. I have three words for you. Blue shirt guy. This guy is outskilling all these players. Oh, no. Never seen anything like this. What the fuck? They're getting real people. Who the hell even knows who this blue shirt guy is? He's also really cute. What the fuck? even made for someone like this. Terminate him. Yeah, that's Taika. Nope. I can't die! I'm never gonna die! So that was Ninja, Pokimane, uh, uh, Jacksepticeye, Jacksepticeye, Laser Beam, all those guys who will be in uh, Free Guy. Uh, that was Ryan had to say it. I can't weird. Say it yet. All right. Uh, up next, it won multiple awards at the Game Awards, and Among Us just keeps going. Now it's time to hear from Inner Sloth on what's coming next. Falling off of Among Us, but I still really like Inner Sloth. 
Just a small team doing what they can. Oh my god. That's awesome. We no longer have to set up the annoying rules. Okay, that was actually pretty Lots good. I really and love, and I have way us, more fun with Hide and Seek and Among Us than just normal Perry Among Us. Jeff Keighley mask was available as a Twitch drop around the Game Awards, never to be it's seen awesome that they're actually bringing it. I often hear on Twitter from people who get booted from games with the mask because uh, folks think... Yeah, it feels well, like they're actually today, like the mask is gamers, just head to Twitch, which is cool. And watch 15 minutes or more like they actually know what gamers want they're not some big company that doesn't listen again, to what people want into the vault i don't know what's going on all right speaking of independent developers now i'm very happy to welcome to summer game fest the head of indies at playstation a legend in his own right who has some exciting things to share shuhei yoshida hi shu thanks jay Hi everyone, I'm Shuhei Yoshida, head of PlayStation, PlayStation Indies. PlayStation Indies are usually pretty what good. What I love about working with independent developers are the new and unexpected games that they create, which allows us to offer an array of unique experiences for players. In my role as Sony, it's very exciting to get to meet with these talented studios, which sometimes can be one person or a small group of friends to help nurture their ideas and bring them to the PlayStation fans. One example is from Finji, who has been working with Greg Lobano. Oh, I like Finji. They did, um, to they published their new game, Night in the Chikori, Woods. A colorful tale. Chikori released today and give players a chance to experience a coloring book style world where players use their painting powers to explore, solve puzzles, make friends, and draw on anything. Check out Chikori A Colorful Tale on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 after the show. As a huge Soulsborne Games fan, I totally enjoyed the beautiful 2D action adventure Salt and Sanctuary a few years ago. The developer Ska Studios has been hard at work on a new title, which I'm proud to present to you, Salt and Sacrifice. Our sins will catch up with us. Always. Reminds me of, um, ghouls and ghosts. I was given a second chance. I spoke the words. So this is 2D platformer Souls game, which are two of my least played genres of games. I live now only to hunt mages. So I do want to play a Souls game at some point. I am a marked inquisitor. There aren't many of us. But together, we, we will, will tame the, the chaos. chaos. Really appreciate that people aren't forgetting about Thanks the you, and that's last all gen console. We're also able to share with you a brand new trailer from the upcoming Annapurna and Heart Machine game, Solar Ash, which is coming to PlayStation later this year. Sol Solar Ash might be one that I was interested in. The name's familiar. I like Annapurna. 
Uh, I'll stream it the day it comes out. Probably at midnight. Probably do the full playthrough, honestly. Exactly. I am okay with them for getting last gen once new gen or current gen is available on shelves. That looks so, so great. Can't wait to see it later this year. It looked cool. I like the movement. The movement looked very so flowy. a big game launching across console and PC, Chivalry 2, which brings 64-player multiplayer medieval battles to life. Sledgehammers, swords, axes, you name it. And it comes from Torn Banner Studios in my hometown of Toronto, Canada. Here's a look at the launch trailer for Chivalry 2, which you can play right now. For every warrior, there comes a time yeah! when a moment will decide your fate. Damn. Brutal. Oh, it's first person. I thought it would be like an RTS kind of thing. I don't know, what am I talking about? I know chivalry. I've seen so many clips online. Isn't it VR? Damn, tis but a scratch. God, he just chucked the head at him. This month, Valorant from Riot celebrated its one year anniversary. Okay, that looks like goofy fun. Monday, June 14th. Prime Gaming members will get an exclusive player card to celebrate the one-year anniversary and a pity party spray through June 25th. This is all leading up to the release of Episode 3 of the game later this month, which will be celebrated with an epic WW Fest unlocked year one stream on June 25th. But there will also be a new agent. Who could it be? Well, here's your first very, very exclusive but very, very quick tease to whet your ap appetite with appetite. more to be revealed later this month during Summer Game Fest. What game is this? <laughs> this is Valorant? Damn, dude. Did you see that? Very quick. All right. A warring PMC factions face that up was against each other in Escape from Tarkov. One hell of a helmet. First person shooter video game developed by Battlestate Games. Today, we've got an exclusive new look at the streets of Tarkov, the new area of the game under development. I still don't know what Escape from Tarkov is. I see so many people playing it, and I just don't know what it is. Was it like rust, but with but like 
with modern day guns and landscapes and stuff. Minus the building. Okay. Gotcha. I just I've been I've seen so many people stream it for like a year or two and I just never really paid attention to it. I always thought it was just like another battle royale or something. When I was a kid, the simulation games of Peter Molyneux were some of my favorites, adding that extra salt on the fries in the theme park to increase your drink sales was so devilish. Well, many of the team members behind those sim games went on to create Two Point Studios and Two Point Hospital. Well, today we're excited to share the first trailer for their next Two Point simulation, Two Point Campus. That first sight of the school games, the scent of a leather. I watched some gameplay of Two Point Hospital. It's not a game that I would play, but it's fun to watch. Like this in my day. You see, campuses are forever changing. Nowadays, education has to be fun. It can't be all work and no play, and quite right too. Frankly, the way I was at school, it was just all play. I barely worked at all. Dynamic, more whatever this is. Today's campus is a place to live. I barely went to school. Finely crafted by the sharpest minds that money can buy. Though sometimes you still can't get the staff. Yes, these days it really does feel as though anything is possible. is in session 2022. This year, I am thrilled to have Netflix as a part of Summer Game Fest. They have been doing an incredible job adapting games with series like Castlevania and the Dota anime. Well, there is a lot more coming, and you don't have to wait long to find out more. Tomorrow, I'm honored to be guest hosting Netflix. Where's the Tomb Raider live anime? Takahashi and Rahul Kohli. Uh, you can expect the first clip of the Cuphead show, which, spoiler alert, this show is going to be an absolute sensation. I can't wait for you Not to really see Not really a spoiler. Also Didn't know there was a Cuphead Arcane, show. The League of Legends animated show coming later this year. And we might also have updates on The Witcher and the live-action Resident Evil series. Geeked Week is streaming live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Here's a little sneak peek. <laughs> What is Geek Week? Netflix Geek is hosting a free virtual like event full of big news, exciting first looks, and the people who make the shows and films you love on Netflix. Comics, games, movies, zombies, animation, sci -fi, Yeah, apparently there's a Cuphead show. A Witcher and much more. People you love from the shows you love, live. 
grab your devices, tuck in, and join Netflix Geeked for Geeked Week. There's so much to get geeked about. Geeked Week is over, though, like tomorrow. <laughs> We aren't done with Netflix just yet, though. Coming up next is Smite, a cross-play, <coughs> cross-platform game that continues to do some pretty amazing IP crossovers. You may remember last summer we announced the Avatar The Last Bender one. Uh, um, well, as Smite Airbender. Enters, it's ninth year, it's time to go upside down. Airbender. He's not the last bender, Jeff. It wouldn't be a series if he was the last bender. So after Korra, it just, the world went to shit and there's no more benders. Amon actually won. He didn't die. He returns and has taken away everyone's bending except for the last guy. Next up, we announce a lot of games on my shows, but I think this is the first time we are announcing an entirely new game label, new game publisher. Enjoy this first look at more than 12 games that make up its initial slate. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Let's begin. That was Kingdom Come. Oh, this is... That was Payday. Is that who you are? My purpose makes me who I am. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. Being relied on to succeed where others would fail. <laughs> A very there brief look at those. Matter, payday 3 2, and there is actually one more game added to the mix. And for that, well, all those look pretty head from good. Todd, how you doing? I'm great, Jeff. Thank you for the intro there. I'm really excited to have this little last edition, which is is that Saber and Prime Matter are working together on a new game in the Painkiller franchise. All right, very cool on that. <laughs> That's and a weird, awkward details pause. details on Prime Matter coming tomorrow with a stream at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will be stopping by. Next up is a brand new IP from a brand new studio, Stray Bombay. It's coming this fall only to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass on day one. It's called Ooh, the I like that. a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set aboard a massive starship stranded at the edge of explored space. You team up with your friends in an infinitely replayable fight against alien hordes to unlock perks, weapons, and new ways to play that you can share with your team. Risk Here of Rain 3. the world premiere trailer. Hello? <laughs> Jessa! Liu! Stick together and 
Let's do this. Is this a disco? This I do not like. I can use some help. Hit your pulse. This is not good. This is not good. What if we open the doors and run? Just run. No stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that pressure! Heavy. Really? I mean... We call them tanks. I call them brutes. From Latin, brutus. We'd sound smart calling Game Pass brutes. Day 1, I'll definitely try it out. Help name these? No, I'm good. Brutes! <laughs> Awesome look. Thanks for that chat and the team at Stray Bombay. Uh, tomorrow, tune in to Summer Game Fest for a special deep dive presentation on New oh, Amazon open world MMO from Amazon Games set on the supernatural island of Eternum. It's finally coming out later this summer, and in the deep dive video, game director Scott Lane will take players into the mysterious supernatural island that is a world of wonder and horror. Once you arrive, it's up to you to unite warring human factions to take on a common, common enemy, the Tempest, who wants to unmake life. Scott and the team will detail updates to the game, including new mid and end game content, more PvE and expeditions. Five Amazon has yet to show that they are capable of making a Six good game. These expeditions will be at launch with the closed beta on July 20th and the public launch on August 31st. I will also be down at the studio to chat with Scott about the game and the team's efforts over the past year in the midst of COVID. It is exciting for me to finally be able to get out there and visit game studios again. I miss all these developers. So check out the special deep dive stream on New World tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern at summergamefest.com. All right, well, back in 2018, Rocket League teamed up with Fast and Furious, bringing some of the- Oh man, I forgot about Rocket League. Into the game. And now they are back with a twist that is truly Rocket League with Fast 9, the next installment of the Fast Saga arriving in U.S. theaters June 25th. Psyonix is bringing back the Nissan Skyline, Dodge Charger, and, well, maybe the most literal, supersonic, acrobatic, rocket-powered heist car ever conceived, the F9 Pontiac Fiero. Oh, yeah, cars. Remember when Microsoft got shit on for bringing a car onto stage? <laughs> To promote Forza. Strap a rocket engine to a car and play soccer. Seems like the right idea to me. The Fast and Furious three-car bundle arrives June 17th in Rocket League. Okay, next up, last year, a new Swedish company named Shark Mob released a teaser for their first unnamed multiplayer project in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Tonight, we're putting a name on their first game with a brand new world premiere trailer. I really hope the next Vampire the Masquerade game is good. It was delayed, and it's sort of in hiding right now. Maintaining the masquerade. We have influenced your society. Fed on your blood. Thrived among you. Until now. DLC character is going to be Lady Domitresque.
it's so rare to see a new multiplayer game actually stick around. <laughs> I can't wait to play this game, and we actually won't have to wait long. You can sign up now for the bloodhunt.com is where you go for the closed alpha PC test available on July 2nd. Blood Hunt will be released later this year. There have year. been so many that come out Next, that just sort of disappear after a week. The creators of Until Dawn continues with the House of Ashes, Ooh. part of the Dark Pictures anthology. Oh, yeah. This third game I forgot they were still American making that. Iraqi soldiers stranded in a cursed temple. Here's the story I played Man of Medan and exclusive reveal of wasn't the super impressed. Lurking in the depths. Don't want to play the other ones though. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. But I strongly suspect where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. Ready to, go dark. to descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Fed out hold fire. Or extremely foolish. Dude, I fucking knew he was gonna say that. Holy shit. <laughs> That's such a cliche line. Each man for himself. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. We're on God's green earth that we landed. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? You keep lookout. Lookout? Lookout for what? One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. So this is why the war in the Middle East you can last so long. To save them. Trapped beneath the earth, swallowed we have to move. Let's go. by the void. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness? Forever. Pazuzu. <laughs> I hope they release like a full um box set of all of One their games. Of the longest, most beloved JRPG franchises in the industry is the Tales of series. Well, the latest game, Arise, was announced two years ago, and it brings the franchise into stunning 3D with Unreal Engine 4. Here's a world premiere look at the latest trailer with more information following in the coming weeks. I will say I really appreciate how, for the most part, we're just going from Pretty fancy place announcement to announcement. There's not a ton of between shit in between. I'm Dohilim Ilkaris. Should you need my skills on the battlefield, all I care for is maintaining peace. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Men and Sea Guard. Flare the Malisha! From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <laughs> Been looking for you. Get the hell out of my realm! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? Is it over? It's only just begun.
Oh, is this the, like, Children of Light or something like that? This is a mobile game. They might be bringing it to console? For Fest, we have a special announcement for you. That the console version of Sky Children of the Light would arrive to Nintendo Switch on June 29th. And the Little Prince season would start soon after on July 6th. Enjoy the game. Yeah, I wanted to play this. But I just... I can't do mobile games. One of the things I take great pleasure in is using a platform like I this show to introduce don't you to find them developers and studios fun to control. deserve the spotlight. That's definitely the case with this next title from a small Swedish studio named Wishfully. Planet of Lana tells the story of a young girl and her loyal friend who embark on a mission through a colorful world that's designed to feel like a gouache watercolor painting come to life. Here's your first look at the Planet of Lana coming to Xbox and PC in 2022. Looks like a less depressing version of, like, Limbo. Which I'm all for. I like Limbo. What a beautiful artistic game. Honor to have that on our show. It looked cool. Joining me now I is like the Aaron art. Keller, who's the game director of Overwatch 2. Aaron, uh, great to have you here on Kickoff Live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, we are excited to learn more about what's planned for Overwatch 2. You guys recently, you had a, a PvP live stream that I watched, and you revealed some, uh, some changes coming to Overwatch 2. Uh, what can you tell us? What's the latest? Yeah, so we recently announced that Overwatch 2's format is changing to a 5v5 team format. This requires a fresh look at all of our heroes in the game. It should feel new yet familiar to fans of our strategic team-based combat. Yeah, uh, it was great to see you guys playing and, uh, you know, I didn't, long awaited for people to get a chance to go hands-on with it. Um, and today, I know you brought us a look at uh, some skins for some of, the, uh, some of the characters, right? Yeah, the yeah. team is so passionate about updating the look. I really don't have much to say about Overwatch, Overwatch 2. <laughs> and one aspect I played the shit out of Overwatch when it first came out, like when it Overwatch first had the beta two, release. Me and my heroes. friends played it so today all the time, and then we played those, it for a few months uh, after that, too. And Sombra. All right, well, let's take a look here, and I know you're going to tell us... Well, then we sort of fell off. But, What's uh, competitive came out? Overwatch 2. So, yeah, what do we got here? My friend shifted yeah, so towards that, um, and which I just was not about. So we just models. sort of stopped playing. Uh, we have new share hater or <laughs> hair shader tech, excuse me, um, in order to, to get the look that we're going for with his haircut. He also has a glowing cape. I don't like even know where of, Overwatch is uh, at right now. Medic or surgeon vibe to him. Thank you. Uh, and uh, 
we're gonna Sombra, I think, right? Yep, so next up is Sombra. This was a very challenging look for us to update. There's, it's an asymmetrical design. There's so many layers of hair and clothing and technology in this. If you look closely, you can actually see circuitry and nodes embedded in her clothing. She's a world-class hacker, so it all makes sense. <laughs> no, again, it's, you know, so great for fans to see these characters you know and love uh, from the first game, updated for Overwatch 2, and we can't wait to see uh, more on the game. We appreciate you giving us a little sneak preview here, and I'm sure there'll be more later this year on Overwatch 2. You bet, thank you. Awesome, all right, thanks very much, Aaron. Uh, now, recently I had a chance to play Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance with the game developer Jeff Haddam, Hannibal Burris, and Ember Moon from the WWE. That's right, you didn't expect me to say that. But this game is a ton of fun, and it's coming to- Got me there, definitely June didn't 22nd. expect Hannibal Burris. Hey guys, it's Jeff Keeley, and today as part of Summer Game Fest, we are going hands-on with a game that is coming out in just a couple of weeks. It is Dark Alliance, and we've got Jeff, one of the game developers from 2K, Jeff. Special guests, Hannibal Burris and Ember Moon. Okay, okay, uh, that looks like oh, a trap. Oh, that looks like a trap. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Traps. Ow. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, Holy you shit, Hannibal Burst has lost weight. Death, I died I'm again. coming to get you. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I can't believe I'm down. I'm down, people. Last time I saw him was on the Eric Andre show. So, Amber, I know you really wanted to be Driss, Absolutely. Right? I've read all the books, especially the Driss backstory, and I just connected with it on such an intimate level to the point where my wrestling character that everyone sees on TV is actually based on this character. <laughs> the red eyes, even though Driss has purple, I just love everything about him that he's just constantly the good guy the entire time. Oh! Oh, oh what the? Oh. He's a butcher. He's the chef. Ah, that doesn't look healthy. I mean, he had to confirm that, that it was indeed a trap. Well, Let me see I'm what you now. got. You so ain't got what? nothing on us, baby. I'm here now. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, whoa. I spoke oh. way too soon. <laughs> we got him, we got him. Come on, he's gone. come on, he's gone. We come got on. We don't want any dessert. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Damn, what a death. I'm going to have some weird dreams tonight. It's on Game Pass, so I'd probably try that out. <laughs> Act complete. That was great. Yeah. Isn't that a Rooster Teeth show? Summer Game Fest kickoff live presented by Prime Gaming continues. Yesterday was an amazing tease of the next Battlefield from EA. And if you want to dust up on the history of the franchise, its last big modern day game, uh, that was Battlefield 4. It's this month, Prime Gaming members get to download it and play it for free through June 20th. Now, there's no catch. This is the full blown PC version of the 2013 game. And those only in Battlefield moments still hold up. Just head to gaming.amazon.com to redeem your free copy right now if you are an Amazon Prime member. And this Sunday, watch the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase for the first gameplay footage of Battlefield 2042. It's going to be really cool. Um, all right, right now, let's take a look at another world premiere. Monster Hunter Stories is coming to the Switch in July, and we've got your first look. I do like Monster trailer. Hunter. Allegedly, Rise is coming to PC, so I think I'm waiting for that rather than getting it on the Switch. Ah! Uh, wings of ruin. You don't understand that Rathalos is my son. Is Diablo? No, that was Neri Gigante. No clue who that is. We can't let you interfere with our plans. The 
That's the monster red song. You suppose he saw this coming? We won't let you awaken it. I had a friend who had so much trouble with Nair Gigante. Like, we went at him, like, 20 times before finally taking so him out. You're going to be born, huh? I don't totally understand what that game is. Man, lots of bonus stuff. Next, this legendary rock band hits the road this summer on the Hello Mega Tour with Green Day and Weezer? Fall Out Boy. But first, they came together with an indie developer to create stream-safe music for the community. Yes, you can co-stream this performance. Oh, that's so nice of them to tell me. their brand new, never-before-released song, Tell Me What You Want, from Wave Break. This is Weezer! Watch me get a copyright claim. This is a message that my manager wouldn't approve. Yeah, I think the previous song wasn't good. <laughs> copyright wise. That's okay. Don't be influenced by an office full of dorks. Any names <coughs> Tell me what you want. I'm gonna get right on it. Tell me what you want. I'll write it down in my notebook. Do we know that? Tell me what you want. If it's gonna make you happy, I'll give you my guitar. to tell me which way to go so I can play the halftime show at the Super Bowl everyone's entitled to their own opinions here's a big chance yeah you got the next three seconds That was so amazing. Uh, thank you, Rivers and guys, for that. Both the song and the game released tomorrow on PC, Nintendo Switch, music streaming platforms, Twitch soundtrack, 
and a limited edition 7-inch vinyl on I Am 8-Bit. It's cool that right, well, fans right are now, sort of taking Twitch into account. Endless Dungeon from Amplitude. We showed a brief glimpse of gameplay in December, and fans wanted more. Well, here's an extended look at Endless Dungeon. Isn't this on Game Pass? Or is that something else? We're stuck in this rack. No, that was like Dungeon of the Endless. The rules. Yep, all of them. Rule number one. Certain weapons work better on certain monsters. Learn it or die. Oh, option B then. You know, not Endless Dungeon. Don't want to get those confused. Rule number two. Use turrets to protect that unstable dust bomb we call the crystal. Because it's their catnip. And if it goes, you go. Yep, just like that. Rule number three. Watch your squat. Even if you've got the guns, the turrets, and the crystal, you can't do everything by yourself. If you fight alone, you die alone. Uh, together again. And rule number four? Alright. Well, That's not the game for me then. Whenever I play this kind of game with a friend, we always just split up. You gotta change the squad. Tag team. I'm in. What are you guys doing tonight? If you're lucky enough to have a PS5, you're probably getting ready to play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've been nope. playing it and having a ton of fun. Well, later today, the team at Insomniac I still is going don't to believe be a PS5s even exist on Twitch. And to tell us more, take it away, Marcus and Mike. Hey, Jeff, and everybody watching Summer Games Fest Kickoff Live. Marcus Smith here, creative director at Insomniac Games for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We're excited that players finally get a chance to play the game tomorrow and to celebrate, we want to spend some more time with you today. At 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, to live stream the first hour of Rift Apart. Isn't that right, Mike? That's right. I'm Mike Daly, the game director of Rift Apart. In addition to playing through the opening of the game, we'll also be taking your questions live and talking about what it was like to develop the game behind the scenes. It just came so out that there was apparently zero Twitch crunch on the game, which is awesome. At 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. I feel like Insomniac was probably the best acquisition by Sony. We'll see you there. All right, we're now about to be joined by the one and only John Carlo Esposito to talk Far Cry 6. Uh, John Carlo, thank you for joining us. So why did you want to take on this role? They came to me with this phenomenal idea uh, and had proposed that I play. I don't know. Castillo, Different insomniac developers, Yaro, just not even like executives, just random dream people dream were saying there was zero crunch. It, it, really it was just like normal work days. He was a guy who first came from a love of his family. I mean, I assume there are people who voluntarily country. stayed and late so to work on stuff. In, in line with what's going on in the world politically today and what has happened in the past, I thought, what a great opportunity. The other part of it is it's just a different technology that's so brand new and it excites me as a filmmaker that I wanted to be a part of it. All right, well, you've played some absolutely amazing villains in your career. What was it like being a video game villain? No, I'm not a villain. I have to, I got to push back on you. I'll let you finish. But this guy loves his country. He wants to empower you, Keely. He wants to empower you to stand up and speak your truth. This is probably now my you most go back to calling me a villain if you like. hyped game well, you are smiling of 2021. On the box. You're a good guy, right? <laughs> I am because I, I feel like we as human beings fall in line. And I, I, I want to be. I really, really enjoyed reason. How do you like Far Cry Five. Because I think and Far Cry Six looks like they're bringing a lot more, which is awesome. And thinking about the cumulative effect of our doing what's right, and the example of that is also to stand up and say, "No, I do agree that 
there are good and bad about all people, but this guy, out of his love and passion for his people, even if they're faceless to him at certain points in time, allow him to be an absolute hero. Uh, speaking of your character, who did you base him on or study to create this character? It's so interesting because, of course, the, the obvious choice to study is Fidel Castro, and it is Cuba, an island that had so many resources. I'm so excited really for an actual the cityscape. The ability of the dictator to cultivate those resources, something got in the way there, and hopefully that can change in the years to come. It's funny you asked me that question because I was just talking to one of my daughters about Ceausescu and, and uh, also Hitler. Uh, because we were talking about <laughs> classic father daughter conversation. What signs were certain people? What is that mindset that has you wanting to be have power over others? Uh, and for each dictator, it's different. She never heard of Ceausescu and studied political science at all this college. Bring my money, bill. So anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> all right. Well, one last question for you: uh, Who would win in a square off between Gus Fring, Moff Gideon, and Anton? You know, and I have my favorites in those two. So you asked me this question. Um, and, and you know, immediately I say Moff Gideon. Immediately. You know, somehow I, I think Gus is colder and displays that coldness in I a very think particular way. Gus has the resources uh, to know, kill I everyone. Think Anton could be the most violent man on earth. Uh, but given his situation, he may not be rise to that occasion or may not have the time. Moff Gideon is otherworldly. This guy thinks in a different way, and he knows what you're thinking before you say it. And he, he does all his own dirty work, and he has an incredible tool to help him out. So I'm going to say Moff Gideon. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, John Carlo, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We will check out the revolution in Far Cry 6. And I can't wait for it to begin. Let the games begin! <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you so much, John Carlo. If you haven't picked up on it yet, Prime Gaming unlocks a ton of in-game benefits for Amazon Prime members, like an exclusive Valkyrie skin in Apex Legends, $200,000 in GTA cash every week you play GTA Online, and in Fall Guys, you get a special Burning Circuits costume for your bean through June 21st. Now, speaking of Fall Guys, the time has come to reveal a brand new costume coming to the game based on a legendary game franchise. Check it out. Skyrim. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I need that immediately. That's fucking hilarious. I was not expecting that. That's so dumb, I love it. turn into a clamor of noise during stormy weather. The winds are coming. Clouds high. The birds come! I want to get back into Genshin. I started so playing on PC a while ago. A publisher sort of fell off. Matter, so why not announce a developer too? And joining me now are Dave Anthony and Jason Blundell from the newly formed Deviation Games. Uh, we know you guys well from all your amazing work over the years at Treyarch and Call of Duty Black Ops, but uh, what can we When does that 2B skid come out? Because I oh, actually, thanks, I legitimately Jeff. want and, uh, that. Look, Jason and I, we've been mates for donkey's years. <laughs> and we're like an old married couple, Jeff. June and, uh, 18. We've been working together for decades. And we've worked on some huge franchises. You know the games, you know, they've done well. And, uh, but we thought, you know, when you're working on those franchises, the long established IPs, you're working within very, very tight constraints creatively about what you can do. So we thought, after all these years, you know, 
What if we deviated? Yes. Well, that's deviation <laughs> games. Okay. So Jeff, just trust me, all bets are off. All From right. day one, we got complete financial security yeah. to work with creators. Now the problem is, how do you get the skin? Not just to make a brand new if it's based on crowns, I don't win, like, like ever, so I'm never going to get it. Innovation at its very core. And the team at Deviation Games, the culture we have is really, really simple. It's, there's no place for ego. It's the best idea that always wins, and that's Deviation Games. All right, well, uh, big ideas from you guys as we would expect. Now, I know it's very early, and uh, there is nothing to show on the game today, but can you tell us a bit about what kind of game you're making? What can we expect? Yeah, I mean, you're very right there, Jeff. Very early, but a um, lot of exciting stuff going on. So essentially, we spent the last year building the team, right? And so what we knew was we wanted to collect passionate, creative, collaborative people and bring them together kind of under one roof. And that's what Deviation Games is. So uh, yeah, we don't have anything to show right now, but that, that collaboration, that imagination is, is going on and we're gonna have something that's gonna, uh, I think, leave an indelible mark in the industry when we come out. All right, well, uh, with you guys involved, as I said, we're excited about it. There is one more piece of the puzzle, though, that you wanna reveal uh, today. And for that, let's take a look at this. They got the whole trio. They got 2B, 9S, and A2. It'd be sick. Okay, big news. The stage has changed. Uh, <laughs> blue of PlayStation. So you're partnering with, uh, with PlayStation. What can you tell us about that partnership? That's right, Jeff. And the partnership with PlayStation, it's all about quality. From soup to nuts, this project is all about quality. And our team of deviators that we have back uh, in the studio, we're doing this for you. We are so proud of you. And, um, Dude, he's so nervous. The partnership with Sony, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, God, just look at the track record of consistency, of high quality games that they do. It's hit after hit. It's award after award. And now we've been part of this process and we see how they do things. Yeah. It's really clear how they're managing to accomplish that. So we couldn't be more proud to expand PlayStation's Good portfolio. Good for him, though. Yeah. I could not in a very, do this very shit. Significant way. I mean, let's just face it, right? Sony rocks. Yeah. They, they get our kind of brand of crazy, so we're That's very right. happy with this partnership. All right, so Deviation Games. The game dead, so they're usually just IP, high themselves IP on a computer. Coming in the future, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys again in the future to, to see more on what you're working on. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Awesome. All right, uh, Dave, Jason, thank you very much, guys. All right, well, this year is the 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and later this month, we are honored to be premiering the full Sonic Symphony oh, my. Oh, Dude. <laughs> right now, here's the Philharmonic Orchestra in Prague performing the music of Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> this just popped up in my feed. I got a Jeff Keighley mask for Among Us. Something that just like popped up in my chat and I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's really funny. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, it's not like <laughs> these are monetized anyway. Sega's going to come after me hard. Going to take down my entire channel. I 
Oh, okay, it's the 30th anniversary. I was like, why are they showing off Sonic stuff? Love orchestra music. All right, Sunday, Warner Brothers Games and Turtle Rock will be giving players a new look at the zombie multiplayer fun of Back for Blood. And right now, we've got a... Yeah, Warner Brothers whole and news on the panel coming later is summer. strictly for Back for Blood. I like that. The big, massive boss enemy. I haven't really seen that much in these kinds of games. One of the things I'm most passionate about is getting you guys access to play more games at home. Last year, Steam and Xbox did incredible demo events around Summer Game Fest, and this year, Steam's Next Fest starts next Wednesday, and Xbox is back again to do an ID at Xbox demo event, which I'm announcing right now. It starts on Tuesday and it's completely free. No badges required. One of the games I'm most excited about in the lineup is Tunic from my fellow Canadian, Andrew Shouldice. Here he is to give you a little sneak preview of the brand new demo, which you can exclusively play on Xbox starting on Tuesday. Hi, my name is Andrew Shouldice and I'm working on Tunic, which is an isometric action adventure about a tiny fox in a big world where you explore the wilderness, fight monsters, and find secrets. I first started working on it about six oh, he's years adorable. Ago, and uh, it's been changing a lot over the years, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited about where we've gotten it to today. So in Tunic, you, you start the game and you are a little fox that's washed up on a beach and you don't have a whole lot of context except for, you know, uh, uh, a lust for adventure and you are going to wander off and maybe you're going to find a stick and maybe if you venture a little bit further, maybe you're going to find a sword. And it's really about that sense of discovery, about wondering what's around the next corner. People have played the game at shows before, but we wanted to put together a brand new demo that was, you know, for the home audience. And so it's full of never before seen stuff, a brand new dungeon, a bunch of areas people haven't seen before. So excited about Tunic and Sable also uh, is going to be one of the games in that along with a lot of other awesome titles. So check that out next. Okay, week awesome. I like that. I really like next up, uh, Xbox has been doing those this ancient Norse inspired co-op action survival. RPG. God damn it. I thought they're going to talk about God of War. Classic hack and slash gameplay goes a little tease there. Norse but I like the demo things that they're doing. Like Steam did and PC July 27th. Halloween Here demo thing. And trailer. on Halloween, I just streamed a bunch of different like demos. Horror games. The giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen by the gods to protect this realm. But your first task is to find some new clothes that aren't desert. Drafty. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Hunt down pets, gather rare resources, and explore the untamed world. Once you've plundered all you can carry, return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking-worthy gear. You must protect the seed of Yggdrasil at all costs, for this world and everything in it will be destroyed forever. So take heed. The healthings rise when the sun sets. Destroy these dark spirits before they destroy the seed. Each victorious night makes way for a new day to venture into new lands, build to greater heights, and face fiercer creatures. And with great risk comes great rewards. But be careful. You're of little use to Midgard squashed by a troll. Craft legendary weapons, build deadly defenses, and grow the strength of your tribe, because those giants are on their way. He just has a full and fucking ship in him. To end their path of destruction. Let's show them our might is greater than their height. <laughs> As the saying goes, Valhalla can wait. Who 
who's ready for some Evil Dead? We announced this game last December at TGA, and now it's time for an extended look at the gameplay. To tell us more, let's turn it over to my friend, Tim Willits from Sabre. Hi, Jeff. It's great to see you. Today, oh, we have some has extended little... footage of oh, wow, boy. Evil Dead, the game. We are excited to show you this, and to help me explain it is Bruce Campbell. Thank you. Saber Interactive. Why is that so familiar? Hola, Cyber friends. I'm Bruce Campbell. You know me as Ash Williams, the dude who saved the world from evil. I'm here to bring you the lowdown on the upcoming Evil Dead, the game. So well, they did World War Z. You and your friends will team up as classic Evil Dead heroes to live the nightmare. Yeah, you okay. Use savage finishing moves or tear evil that was fun for a while. If you're not into the whole save the world thing, we have another option. You can play as the vile Kandarian demon itself. Ooh. But who would want to do that? He'd be a dick. Ooh. With the power of possession in your arsenal, you'll scare those goody two shoes to death. Literally, you can do that if you're a dick. Whether you choose the path of evil or righteousness, you'll be throwing down in places you've seen before. You'll collect pages of the Necronomicon, uncover Nobi's lost tapes, and track down other legendary artifacts. When you've grabbed enough, you'll use a spell to send the Kandarian son of a bitch back to the hellhole it came from. Soon you'll experience the horror yourself, but for now I'll leave you with this thought. It was no accident that Ash always wore brown pants. <laughs> I honestly didn't have like a ton of interest in this game, but that actually looked pretty badass. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Okay, guys. Now it's time for the grand finale to the show. Is this going to be Elden Ring? This is extremely special. Today, I am so deeply honored to be given the opportunity to share this next game. It comes from one of our industry's most acclaimed developers and a previous Game of the Year winner at the Game Awards. Yep, from I software. I want to personally thank this developer for believing in my vision of Summer Game Fest as a new way to bring all of us together for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. So, without further ado, Please sit back and enjoy this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time. Dude, the Elden Ring subreddit must be going crazy. Yup. Dude, this thing was announced years ago, and then it just disappeared. Will soon return. Guided by grace. Once lost. The Golden Order is broken to its core. Oh. 
touch of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. They will fight. And they will die. In an unending curse. Holy shit. So they disappeared. But then they brought a lot. Elden Ring is coming, as you saw, January 21st, 2022 to next gen, current gen. It's so incredible. And I want to All right, thank current so much gen Miyazaki san and the team at is for sharing that in next gen at Elden Ring. At this Ring. point, I hope you guys are happy. Oh my God. I'm free out of prison. All right. Uh, and that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest kickoff live. Thank you so much to all the developers who took part. And for you and watching around the world, it means so much to me. Summer Game Fest continues all weekend with Netflix Geek Week and Prime Matter tomorrow, Ubisoft Forward on Saturday, and Xbox and Bethesda on Sunday, Square Enix as well. Head to summergamefest.com I wanna for the full and complete schedule. Play. This is really just the kickoff a Souls game. to summer and a ton of other amazing events. I want to try to get into above, them. I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us as well. As for me, I'll see you again on August 25th for Gamescom Opening Night Live. And this December, I am so happy to say that the Game Awards will return as an in-person ceremony nice. at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. More details are coming later this summer. Thanks again for being a part of Summer Game Fest. We will see you tomorrow for more. And stay tuned for the Day of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine right now. Good night, everybody. Yeah, that was a pretty good start to, like, a appetizer to E3, hence the title. Be it tomorrow, there are a couple conferences, but then Saturday is a big day. Wow, that's really loud. I'll, I'll unmute Tim Schafer. Brought to you by Double Fine and I Am 8-Bit. We've been putting on the show for nine years. Uh, yeah, that was a decent show. Actually, a few games that I was excited for. I really didn't know what to expect from that. So, like, I feel like a lot of the huge ones are being saved for, like, Microsoft and all the others. But they brought Elden Ring, which was rumored. Uh, it looks really cool. That we have here. We put out the call for submissions and people from around yeah, the world. Yeah, I'm going to in fact this year was end a it there. Number of submissions. So I will be back for um and the games are really tomorrow really good, and we picked the best ones to show you uh here today. I want to thank our generous sponsors for their Tomorrow is Cock Media and IGN. I always get so inspired when I see the collection of games because the Again, don't know what they're going to have. So they confirmed really that Saints Row, Dead Island, Time Splitters aren't going to be there. So I don't know what they're going to have. No clue what IGN does. But I figured I might as well get everything out of E3 that I can. So Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at like 3 p.m. But until then, peace out. Sorry, Day of the Devs.
I think you'll be surprised and excited if you're a fan of the original. He's